Hey, Matt, the Mobile Hunter with McGee Farms, and uh, did a video just a little bit earlier of the 3010 Kawasaki Mule and the windshield that we did on it. Uh, we're getting ready to do some doors. I did a back windshield, but uh, I needed to do a little bit of modifications for it just because uh, it worked good. But then when I had to lift the bed to get to the engine, it uh, I couldn't get the bed up. It was blocking the bed. So I'm getting ready to do a little work on it here in about an hour. But uh, walk around, talk a little bit about this. I'll show you what I have built, what the problem was. Uh, another one that I built for another side-by-side. -side. And uh, then as I'm going through the work, I will uh, show you the whole build. So the mule kind of has this uh, little cage on the back of it. And in the past, I had little sheets of plexiglass. I had like three different sheets because the big ones are pretty expensive and uh, just zip tied them in. You wanna make sure you get the thicker stuff because it does break whenever you try to drill it. But uh, what I've ended up building, I'll show you. So here I got it with some stuff I'm working on right now uh, next to one of the four wheelers. But uh, this is the one that I built. I mean, it actually worked pretty good. The issue that I had was I used bolts to kind of hold the plexiglass in on the frame and I needed to get to the engine, which is under the bed. And when I did that, it was catching on the lip of the bed and the bed would not open to let me get to the engine. But this is uh, HDPE, I believe is what it's called. I'll put a link in the description. It's four by eight sheets. You pick it up at Menards is the only place I found it. And it actually, it's what I've used to make doors and I use it for the frame. It works really good. You cut it with a Sawzall or a Dremel is what I've been using. And you look around the back here. What I did is I just took scraps and bolts and used them just to kind of frame in and hold the window. So I'll show you one that I built that's on the other side by side. I had done a video of it and we'll walk. So this is the one we did on our BMA, BMS Ranch Pony. Uh, same principle. Uh, you've got the uh, uh, HDPE with the plexiglass. We did doors. This one has half doors. And so we built doors that are on it. And I've got it shut where you can't open, but it's kind of like suicide doors. It comes, the upper half just comes out and it works really good. I've got a whole video on that. And I'm going to be building doors for the mule here in just a little bit, but that's going to take more time. This window's pretty much built. I've just got to tweak it a little bit now. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, give me probably about a half hour here, and I'm going to take that window in, and I'm going to modify what I need to modify, and we're going to mount it back up. Okay, so I pulled the mule out into the sunlight a little bit. It's uh, kind of dark in the barn and I got a lot of projects going on right now and things uh, kind of got pushed to the side, uh, a little bit tight spaces where I was working at. But uh, uh, as I was talking earlier, what I'm gonna do is these bolts that are on the lower part of it that the bed was catching up with, I'm gonna do a second hole kind of right next to them and uh, use zip ties to kind of go through and come back in to hold the, the brace that's in there on and then just bypass these. So that way, when I need to get to the engine for any reason, I don't have to sit there. I mean, it was a pain to get it off because it was, it was just in there so tight. So I'm getting ready to do that right now. So, I don't know how well you can see it, but I took the bottom screws out, just did two holes, and I've got on the what's going to be the inside of it, I've got some heavy 
uh, zip ties that are holding the bottom channel in. The rest I've got these uh, screws. By the time I got this done, it was too cold to paint it. Otherwise, I probably would have tried to paint it red to uh, kind of match the mule. Or at least what I'd like to do is get a little paint if uh, I don't want these backing out. Uh, get a little paint over them and it kind of helps the nuts stay on. But you'll also kind of see I've got some holes that are drilled for zip ties here. That's from where I had it mounted before. And I'm going to use those same ones uh, to start out. Same with the windshield is uh, I'm going to go up on the top. And this is where if you got a friend to help you, this really makes it a lot easier. But you try to get one or two of them uh, just in and over the roll bar on the top and get them as loose. Don't tighten them up yet until you get them all in. And then uh, once you do that, then you come back and you do the sides. But uh, I'm going to do that. I got to set the camera down because it's just me and uh, I need both hands to do this. So I got the top ones on, but they're loose. And the reason I'm leaving them loose is that way I can kind of move it left and right and position it how I want it. Now this is going to leave a little bit of a gap just because uh, this stuff is four by eight and I think I need it like uh, four foot three inches or four foot four inches, something like that to cover it. It was close, but I didn't want to use an entire sheet. These sheets are like 80 bucks. So I didn't want to use an entire sheet for the whole thing. And that way I could make two back windows for two side by sides. Uh, we're going to hook the sides up and get it positioned now. Okay, I got it all mounted up and uh, I got everything tied up top, zip ties. Uh, and like I said, you got this little grating, uh, this little like grating stuff as far as uh, on the mule. And so that's what I've kind of got the zip ties uh, tied into going up and down. The top is on the roll bar. I've got them on the bottom, also on one of these bottom Kind of roll bars now these uh anyone that has one of these mules they're great they'll go anywhere they'll last forever but they bounce you around and beat you up when you're driving them so this thing most likely i haven't taken it out yet when i had it on before every once in a while you could hear it rattling a little bit yeah that happens it's annoying but uh you know that's uh, the nature of the beast and you see, I got a little bit of gaps on each side. It was partially because I was wanting to not have to buy a whole nother sheet. And I'm using these more as a windbreak. I'm not trying to get them airtight. If you got them airtight, then you run onto some other issues, such as, uh, you know, if you got a heater in there, you could get some carbon monoxide issues if you're running, you know, a propane heater. Or something like that so there's gonna be some air gaps and plus I cut everything freehand as well so anyway let's drop the bed and I now have not only a windshield or a window on the back don't have doors yet that's coming soon but I've got a windshield on the front as well it's Matt the Momo Hunter from McGee Farms if you like this video if it inspired you please consider subscribing to our channel. Give us a like or leave us a comment. It's all appreciated. Thank you.